Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrew and I'm here to watch Nancy Drew Season 1, Episode 5. Um, I'm gonna get right into this because I have a lot to watch and not much time, so we're gonna get right into it. So far I'm really liking this show and where it's going. I, I was a little iffy at first just because it was different than I thought it was going to be. It's more towards the supernatural than I thought it was going to be more like, you know, like Scooby-Doo or something where it's not really actually supernatural that she finds out, like, eventually. Like, it seems like it, but it's not. But I'm fine with it. I think I'm gr it's grown on me a bit, though. Creepy, actual, like, supernatural stuff. So let's get right into this. Here we go. Is she possessed by the uh, now? But she's, if a ghost is trying to kiss her, maybe he's not the killer at all. Something else. If she knows, why not go and tell someone the truth? She's gonna cut her hair? A killer? There's some thick blood. It's not like dripping down at all. Ooh. What does she know? She knows about the two of them. What? When should we worry? Never. About what? <laughs> well, I thought this town loved its ghost stories. We actually have a ghost sighting and impaled myself on a window frame. Hey, what happened? Oh. Is the ghost story. still in her? Dude, you should really disrespect that for you. Lizzie, Beth, Liz Boot, whatever her name is. Her number's in the reservation book. Lizbeth? Lizbeth. Lady Van Driver. Why don't you yeah. Call her back? Hi, welcome to the claw. Go ahead and sit wherever you'd like. Oh, um, I'm actually here to see if you guys. It's ironic, though. The restaurant that served tea. That didn't sound like George Law. The catering gala in her honor. That's pretty wild. To be fair, I try to show the place. We are so excited to cater this event. You won't regret it. That's definitely not deliberate. But... Oh. How long is she going to be possessed by the ghost? What? Hey, I'll leave a note on her desk. You can't go in. New policy. <laughs> Chief wants to keep our new investigation free of civilian interference. So Sorry. my civilians. Investigation. Is McGinnis considering it a homicide? Because oh. of what my father said at the press conference? About Tiffany's autopsy report being compromised? Because I would be happy to convey any details about the investigation to him while he's away in Boston on business. You know I can't talk about an ongoing investigation. <laughs> Office report. Do you remember how I found your grandma's lost jewelry collection? You owe me. You've been playing that card with me since you're in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> just walk away like that. First aid kit, and she kind of just sat there staring for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Then she went to her office and locked herself inside. Yeah, that's bizarre. Oh my god. A lot of blood. Yeah, it might be time to worry. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Definitely time to worry. What the hell? Last minute catering has been fancy. Maybe something supernatural, right? Because that's the go-to explanation. Mm. Yeah, around here it can be. Well, Let's yeah, it's, she's actually like, right, though. What kind of... Best filled me in on what you guys did at the funeral. <laughs> we'll put tankers now, so she tells me things. When you're not around. They're put tankers. <laughs> what could have been wrong? But she... <gasps> I knew it. I love her. I love that. She's adorable. She's me. Therefore, right. We're friendly. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Can't discuss it further. Oh, I can't find the phone. I didn't like that. 
No. <laughs> And she's back. see your mom again. She trusts Bess. I had an affair with Tiffany's husband. It's over. You had an affair with a married man? Look, Ooh. I'm so much older than you. How could you make such a mistake? I don't know. Genetics? Hey, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, totally, totally. I'm being stuck here. No judgment. This is worse than I thought because this spirit has a reason to hate you. And soon she's going to be strong enough to do He's going to take up permanent residence in George's body and George will be gone. Forever. Now well, then, let's get rid of her. Can't be that hard. Exorcisms. Come on, get a priest. That's the case, I can ask her what happened. No, that's pretty insensitive, don't you think? I'm trying to solve her murder. How yeah, I'm with Nancy on this, honestly. Take up time you don't have. You can barely manage a trip to the grocery store. Ask her about the murder, and then get rid of her. I have aunties in China. I want to know. I, guess, I know it's not going to be that easy, though. There's no way she's actually going to be like, tell her exactly what happened, who killed her at the end. Drink, come on, that's. Think of your yang. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the way that sounds when you say it. Yeah. Okay, what do we do next? That sounded gross. Oh, we could tattoo a chance to be relaxed. You know what relaxes me? Money. We have a huge catering thing. <laughs> Money. Charlie had to I, I agree with her. I feel that too. Money is very relaxing. Oh god. That is a nice house though. Dang. I guess country club. It, it's a very big house, basically. Just you, you guys. All you people. Caterers. In need of help. <laughs> what? This is awkward. And weird. How creepy am I coming off? Are you okay? It's the background of the guy. Is she seeing this or is it real? I'm guessing she's just seeing it. The dress. Oh, there she is. Yep, no pile joke. Knew it. Lay low. That's not really my strong suit. Yeah, I don't see her laying low. You're Marvin. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh. I used to summer here. So she, she may be he may be related to us. Adorably rotund. Oh. <laughs> it just leaves it with him. Kind of cute, though. And why did you use a hiding spot only I would know about? These are the on both sides. I just, can you just give me the drive? I can we do this together or not at all. I like her. I know I keep saying that, but I do. Some, something about her I like. Hey, Owen. George. 
Mm, Tiffany's gonna come out. Yep. Tiffany. Ooh. What is she gonna plan on doing? What is she gonna do? I don't know why I said plan. She gonna take out the tires. Oh, she's gonna change outfits. Oh god. She's about to change outfits for this. Outfit change time. Oh, this is about to be fantastic and awful at the same time. Well, George is Tiffany, so... I'll help. I heard you say Tiffany, and I know you're hiding something from me because you won't look me in the eye. Mm, yeah, he's not the best liar. Besides, keeping that whole cop thing, you kept that for a while, surprisingly. But anyone finding out, definitely Nancy. I should have returned your call. Yeah, should have. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shocked that you got my messages. That girl who answers the phone at the claw, she is abrupt. Yeah, um, listen, I think you just pretend those calls never happen. Kiss. Oh, no. Oh. Is everything okay? No. Uh, yes. It was really, really great to see, but I've got to go. 